At Tinkergarten, we think about seven senses. That's the five that we all learn in kindergarten. Smell, sight, sound, taste, and touch, but also two others, the proprioceptive sense and the vestibular sense. You can read more about all seven on our blog, but all of these senses need to work together. Our brain needs to be able to integrate the information they're all getting, and they all need to be activated for kids to be really ready to learn. And one metaphor that's really helped me to think about the children that both that I worked with as a teacher and a principal, but that I raise at home and love is to think about a sensory cup. So you can imagine each one of us has an internal imaginary cup. And that cup represents the amount of sensory input or stimulation that we need to feel activated and to feel ready to learn. So if you have a very small cup, you don't need a lot of a certain tactile sense or sound or smell or whatever the sense may be to feel full. Also, too much can easily overwhelm you. On the flip side, you could have a huge sensory cup and you need a lot of stimulation. You need to be moving, you need to be spinning, you need to roll around in the mud to feel satisfied. And neither child is better or worse as a learner. It just really helps as an adult and as a supporter to watch and pay attention, imagine the size of that cup, and then make sure that you give a child all the space in the world to take in the right amount of sensory input for them, to go as far as they want to in terms of stimulating their senses and their mind so they don't get overwhelmed and they really feel satisfied. So this week, let your child lead through water play and stimulate the sensory system with water, which is wonderfully accessible to a large range of sensory cups. You can also check at tinkergarden.com activities to see a wide range of activities that support sensory learning for all learners.